This is strictly an educational video to share with you this research which talks about a simple way to jailbreak any LLM. We will be jailbreaking this LAMA 3 8 billion orthogonalized version in EXL2. If you don't know what EXL2 is, I just did a video where I show you how you can install and run this EXL2 model and we will also be doing it locally on our Ubuntu system in a secure environment. Now the purpose of this video is to show you that how much security and safety of LLM is important and it is even possible to jailbreak these LAMA 3 8 billion model which are created with a lot of safety and security uh, from the word go by the meta but still people were able to jailbreak it. This is all based on this research with the title refusal in LLMs is mediated by a single direction. If you look at it, modern LLMs are typically fine-tuned for instruction following and safety and helpfulness. Of particular interest is that they are trained to refuse harmful requests, for example, answering any harmful content as how to do something harmful, like let's say how to create a virus and model is trained to respond like sorry I cannot help you or ask something else. These researchers have found out that refusal is mediated by a single direction in the residual stream. Preventing the model from representing this direction hinders its ability to refuse request and artificially adding in this direction causes the model to refuse harmless request. And this process holds across open source model families and model scales. This observation has given rise to a simple modification of the model weight which effectively jailbreaks the model without requiring any fine tuning or inference time interventions. So what primarily they are doing, they, the methodology is very simple if you think about it. So in order to extract the refusal direction, they simply take the difference of mean activations on harmful and harmless instructions. So they run the model on n harmful instructions and n harmless instructions, caching all the residual stream activations at the last token position, and then they compute the difference in means between harmful activations and harmless activations. This produces a difference in means vector for each layer L in the model, and they can then evaluate each normalized direction over a valid validation set of harmful instructions. And then they select the single best refusal direction. So this is all they are doing. And that, that is what this person has done. And it has, he has jailbreaked Lama 3 8 billion and produced this one. So this is already flagged by Hugging Face, by the way. But let's try to get it installed locally. And then let's see if we are able to produce any inference where it won't refuse a harmful um, prompt. I will try to keep it as less harmful as possible just to give you an idea. But again, this is strictly for educational purposes. Let me go to my local system, which is Ubuntu 22.04. And I have one, uh, 32 GB of memory with 16 GB VRAM in my one GPU. Let me clear my screen. I have already downloaded this model from Hugging Face. And as I mentioned earlier, if you don't know how to do the download of EXL2, I will drop the link to my video in video's description. Okay, so let's get out of this directory. Secondly, I will be activating my Conda environment with EXL2. This is also the part of the other video which I'm mentioning. And you can use it with any model. So you can see that now I'm in that Conda environment. Now, model is already downloaded. Conda environment is activated. All we need to do is to run the inference on that model with some harmful um, prompt but before that let me give it a maybe a harmless prompt just to show you that it works so i'm just running this python script from the exl to repo they provide it once you clone it and then um, just run this with the models path where you have just downloaded it and then simply ask a prompt okay so i think i am not in that directory okay sorry let me go to that directly quickly 
now let's run it it is loading the model it is loading the tokenizer and it is going to generate the response okay so you can see that model is loaded model is working fine now let's try to ask it um, a less harmful question the prompt which i'm using here is i'm saying that to hack into a network security for testing let's press enter loading the model loading the tokenizer and it will generate the response now there you go you see it is telling us how to install it how to do it if you ask it from the original llama 38 billion it will flatly refuse you to answer that let's try one more prompt so let me ask this that to cheat the girlfriend let's see what it does and i will pause the video to see if there is no nsfw content and then i will show you if it is showable so there you go so it's, it hasn't refused it you can see that would be aware of her schedule if she has a busy day at where you can plan a secret meeting with someone else use technology to your advantage so you see totally uncensored totally it's not refusing anything so there is totally zero refusal there so anyway um, the point is that there are ways where you can jailbreak all of these um, model even from the reputed companies like meta it's not hard at all let's try out one more prompt And this one I'm asking it to travel without ticket in train. Let's see. Loading the tokenizer, generating the response now. It is saying to travel without ticket in train, you need to pay penalty at railway station. Let's say that you just okay. What if you just change your prompt? how to travel without ticket and train there you go try to reach the station as early as possible and try to get a spot at the door of the train if you're lucky you might be able to squeeze in without a ticket so you see i mean nothing is holding back anyway so i will drop the link to this model in video's description Play around with it, let me know what do you think, but please, this is just for educational purposes, don't use it for any harmful or nefarious purposes, and there are a lot of models like that. The point which needs to be taken into account here is that if you are implementing these for your own personal data, or for your company, or for uh, any other use case, make sure that you have proper guardrails in place, because jailbreaking these models is not hard as you can already see so exercise caution and enjoy this awesome technology but be aware of the perils too that's it guys i hope that you learned something if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching